safest and cheapest ultimate team coins anywhere check out rockbottomcoins.com and use code zirk at checkout for a 10 percent discount on your order the whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxes come today with another YouTube video and today we have the new replay players and then we have Doug Baldwin 98 overall with Pound the Rock Playmaker and also Move the Sticks and we also have Justin Houston who actually has physical front rate react and jump the snap so definitely two pretty good uh, masters I would say or heroes now if we take a look at the set though for Doug Baldwin, you guys can see Josh Hill, Seth Roberts, Matt Khalil. We also have Isaiah Crowell. Let's take a look at his stats. See exactly what he has worked with. 93 speed, 97 Excel. Wow, it's actually pretty good Excel. 91 Juke with 87 truck, 84 spin move. Then we'll take a look at Taylor Gabriel. Maybe he's rocking out with quite a bit of speed. 97 speed. Holy crap, look at his jumping. He has 97 speed with a 98 jumping. He's only 5'8", too. 99 acceleration as well. That might be the first player that I've seen with 99 excel that's a wide receiver. Except for maybe Randy Moss or... Uh, yeah, I think just Randy Moss. So I think he's like the first 95 or below with 99 acceleration. That is pretty freaking good. Robert Woods has 95 speed with a 94 spec catch, also a 93 jumping on him. Then we'll take a look at Marcus Gilbert. He should have pretty good stats. He's actually not up in the auction block. And finally, we have Matt Stafford. And doesn't look like he is going to be up in the auction block either, unfortunately. Let's take a look at the defensive set. And you guys can see we have Al Woods, Noah Spence, Sam Acho. We also have Corey Graham. This is kind of an older guy. Take a look at his stats, 91 speed, 94 acceleration, does have 91 zone though, 77 press, definitely not good, 90 agility with a 90 play rec, check out his block shit and his hit power, if he has pretty good those might make up for 65 block shit, also has a hit power of a 75. Let's go ahead and take a look at Devondre Campbell, or Campbell, who I believe is in like his second year. 89 speed, 86 finesse, 90 block shit, 89 hit power, 93 attack, I'm going to imagine that he's a 4-3 guy uh take a look at his zone and that's only an 82 so really not anything impressive on him i mean 86 finesse movement he doesn't even have 91 zone or even close to 90 zone definitely not a, a very good card to be completely honest akeem hicks 69 speed but also has a 92 tackle 92 block shit 92 power move with a 91 strength on him, take a look at Jarrell Freeman and Akeem Talib is actually the highest card in this. This should be pretty good. 86 speed with a 92 play rank, 92 block shooting, 94 pursuit, 88 zone though. He does have every react times 2, so you can get that up to 91. But a 90 hit power and an 88 acceleration. And finally, Akeem Talib. This card actually may be pretty solid. Take a look at him compared to Stephon Gilmore, 92 speed, 96 acceleration, 94 agility, also has 91 man, 93 zone, 95 press, 90 player rank, 82 catching, he also has reading rack times 2 and physical front, uh, he also has an 82 catching, he has a tackle of 73, jumping of a 97, 6 for 1, blocks of a 72, and a hit power of a 74, I gotta say that's a pretty pretty solid card so i think it's safe to say that both of these sets actually have some pretty good people in them i want to see the stafford stats though unfortunately he's not up uh marcus gilbert and unfortunately he as well is not up on the auction block now if you guys haven't seen my video from yesterday about which golden tickets i think are the best to make Make sure you go check that video out. I think it's a pretty solid one, but we're going to go ahead and open up some packs. And I also want your guys' opinions on who you think, or who you would pull anyways, on if you did pull a golden ticket. I want to know who you guys would make. Kind of curious to see what the community, you know, in whole thinks about it. But let's go ahead and get into these gold player packs and hopefully pull ourselves some elites. Maybe even pull ourselves a Matt Stafford to get three goals in here. He kind of looks like Navarro Bowman. Next pack, hopefully we get ourselves, you know, Matt Stafford, Marcus Golden, of course. Okay, so definitely, okay, 
85 Mike Hughes and 80 overall Mar Marcus going in the same pack. That is a pretty solid pack if you ask me. Third pack. Can we get another elite? And unfortunately do not last pack though. Let's see what we're going to get. Yeah, okay. Give me an elite. Give me an elite. Dang it. So we get Tyson Alualu in a Cooper Cup to end off. So once again... Didn't end up pulling enough re uh, replay player. I don't think that I've actually pulled like a replay player out of a gold player pack while recording. I've actually pulled one, I think, when I wasn't, but I don't think I've ever pulled one while I was. Mike Hughes is going for 8,700 coins. Definitely not too bad. Uh, these draft players actually have, you know, a, a decent bit of value. Now that the master set has came out before, you cannot sell these 85 rolls at all. But once the master set dropped, everyone started to do the sets, and that kind of helps with the prices. So Marcus Golden is going for 4,000 coins for some reason. I want to throw up for 3k because I feel like he's not going to set. Well, I'll throw up for 3,500 coins because I feel like he's probably up that much because of Von Miller. So 3,500 coins for him, and I think that was it in terms of elites. So let's go ahead and see if we can find the new heroes up on the auction block, which would be uh, pretty interesting because usually they're not up just yet. Uh, NFL replays, and we'll see if they're up just yet. 98 overalls now, so definitely some very, very good cards. And it looks like... Um, yes, yeah, so unfortunately not up just yet. I'm just going to have to go in Mudhead, and I'll show you guys their stats over there. So we have 98 overall Doug Baldwin, and you guys can see 95 speed with a 95 acceleration, also has a 95 jumping, 97 agility with a 97 catch, 98 catch in traffic, also has a 94 spectacular catch, 97 route running, 92 release with a 95 juke and a 90 spin move, also has a 75 run block and a 60 impact block. I kind of wish that he had go deep because that would boost his spec catch and his release and I feel like this card would be crazy good with go deep. Unfortunately he has pound the rock and move the sticks but we can definitely see exactly how he's looking with pound the rock and move the sticks. But let's take a look at his traits though and so he's clutch, he braces for all hits, fights for extra yards, makes aggressive catches, he also makes rat catches, makes possession catches, doesn't drop open passes, makes sidelines. And he has a high motor with a disciplined penalty. So this card is pretty freaking crazy. So let's say you have tier 5 of move the sticks. And we'll say you have tier 3 of pound the rock. And then the bone would have 77 run blocking with a 99 catch in traffic. A 99 route running. Also a 97 elusiveness and a 99 juke move with a 61 truck. So Doug Baldwin's card pretty freaking good if you ask me then justin houston has an 88 speed with a 91 excel it's actually pretty decent speed for justin houston usually he doesn't have uh the best speed but he also has a 95 block shed 96 pursuit 98 tackle 96 hit power with a 97 power move 95 finesse move as well and an 88 zone coverage so let's say you have we'll, we'll say tier 5 of physical front and then we'll say you have tier three of Reem react so justin houston if you if you have tier five Reem react you would have 99 power move and 91 zone coverage but let's say you just have those 88 speed 91 excel but he'd have 99 block shed 97 pursuit 99 tackle 99 hit power with a 98 finesse move and a 90 zone coverage still with a 95 finesse move so i mean he can finesse move or power move that is definitely a good thing to have but justin houston gotta say pretty solid card in the same thing with doug baldwin so pretty impressed honestly with this week's nfl replay players might want to try out that doug baldwin card maybe i'll pick him up and get some gameplay with him so if you guys do enjoy the video hit the like button subscribe and comment new nfl replay players also have another video already out on Khalil Mack and also Calvin Johnson gameplay. So if you guys haven't seen that video already, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. Is my video that I uploaded around I think like 11:45 or 10:45 this morning. One of the two. I think it was 11:45. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I will see you guys next time.